You know what's good in life? A good caffeinated drink. You know what's better? Learning how people blew up on social media. So today we're gonna go over how Tana blew up on Instagram, YouTube, literally every single social media. It's crazy the way she did it in a such short amount of time. Keep on watching this video if you wanna learn how, and you guys can learn my little secret Starbucks order for everyone that wants to ruin their digestive system with caffeine. Listen. Hey, what's up you guys? We are going to get coffee and talk about Tana Mongeese. She has millions and millions of followers. I've been following her journey for a while and I really want to just crack the code and share you guys what I've learned and how she became successful. So yeah, we're gonna do this at the same time we're getting coffee. It's another How They Blew Up episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Tana Mongeese. Okay guys, I was looking at the footage and I realized I pronounced her last name wrong. It's Tana Mojo, not Mongeese, not Mongoose. Sorry! Tana Mojo. Oh shit. She did story times, she did a lot of collaborations and just crazy stuff in her life because apparently she's crazy. I'm honestly a huge fan of her content back in the day. I remember 2016, 2017, story times were huge. She just had a crazy life as a high school student. So she had a crazy family and she just knew that she could share crazy stories to entertain people and make them laugh. And keep in mind her growth has been tremendous. On Instagram she has 1.9 million followers on YouTube. I think 3.2 million. Honestly, I think Tana's living the dream life. She goes on tour to, to see her fans, which is great because like I don't see as many YouTubers pull off tours. Because she does music apparently now. And it made her really successful and probably make it big. Cash come in lumps. Okay guys, so we're gonna dive right into how she really did it. A lot of people are now imitating the story time content style, but not everyone is successful as her. Obviously, she created a huge audience by posting, and if you wanna know how she did it, keep on watching. I would probably shit everywhere and smear it all over the wall. If you are new here, welcome. I did videos like this with Alexis Ren rice gum, and it got a lot of views, and you seem to really like it for some reason, so I'm back with another one. So for enjoying it, just post videos here every day. So give this video a like and subscribe. You know, this, this it really, help, it really helps me out. Yeah, it, it, it really helps me out. We're actually on the way to get, not even coffee. This is so weird. We're about to get this really extremely caffeinated drink beverage that might actually like ruin my internal digestive system. But you know, <laughs> YouTube stuff. So back to Tana. I know for a fact that she grew specifically for her story times. And I will get into multiple things that contributed to her growth. But let's just start with YouTube. Her main traffic source or her main source of followers on Instagram came from fans on YouTube. Most of her followers are actually teenage girls similar to her. First reason why she became successful is because teenage girls love hearing stories of other teenage girls go through shit. You know, when you're going to middle school or especially high school, you just kind of want to fit in. And if you're able to see other people your age kind of go through shit you kind of like it I know that sounds terrible but it's just the psychology or dynamic of how a certain demographic thinks things are interesting so first Hannah posted videos that were extremely either relatable or just extremely entertaining for a teenage girl or guy of course a lot of things she went over is her like vulgar language and sexual content what the fuck and um, you know when you go you're a teenager you, you're just into that now a lot of people do story times. Why is Tana so successful? Like, there's a bunch of people who do them, you know? Like, why is she? So the second reason I have to say is timing. She like did this, like, let me, let me check. She relatively started when the story time video content is newer. So the second reason why I feel like it's timing, she was an early adopter of the style referencing she wasn't the first one but she was one of them if you go to tana's top videos you see she represents makeup tutorials everyday teenager things my stalker broke into my house story time and she's crying like a lot of the stuff she posts is very eye-catching now if you look at her other collaborations she's done it's when really big youtubers similar like shane dawson the idea is 
she knew who her audience lived, so she collaborated with multiple YouTubers with her same audience, so she just grew bigger. And those are like one of her top videos. I feel like Tana did a great job with collaborations, um, and that's why she has so many views on YouTube. Now, what drove people to, I guess, follow her on Instagram and see her everywhere else is because if you ever see a Tana Manjo story time, you think she has the craziest life. Like literally, my stalker broke into my house was the first video I watched of hers, and you're just like, what? What the f when you're able to show or tell a crazy story um, and people are confused or engaged or makes people feel an emotion they want to see the perspective they want to see the behind the scenes my third reason is she created crazy content that made people kind of on edge and want to learn more uh, so, he okay, ah! so we're almost at Starbucks we're gonna resume our conversation with Tana Mondis after I get the drink and you guys are gonna be shook and I feel like the Starbucks worker is literally gonna be super confused in her entire Starbucks or his. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to Starbucks. Hi, what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I please get a tall ice green tea latte? Actually, we're all out of our matcha today, so we're unable to make green tea latte. <laughs> I just. Really I'm gonna go drive to the next Starbucks. Oh. Hi, can I please get a tall green tea latte ice with two shots of espresso? Okay. Anything else? Um, that's all. Perfect. I will have it developed here. Awesome, thank you. I don't know, because I said two shots of it. I don't, uh, I don't know how to, okay. I hope this is the right order, because I don't know if this is going to be good for me. I thought I'd order when I get ready. Looks like shit. This is the order. <laughs> it's like I'm Hefner. She says she in love, but I left her. No joke, my heart is beating fast. Okay guys, so we're gonna finish up the Tana Manjo secrets. I finished off with tip four, I believe. So to continue on, this is like the most important one guys, like you have to realize this. The reason why Tana is able to get lots of views, interaction, and you know, obviously transfers over to Instagram, is she is a storyteller. In her tour and all her videos, she's basically telling a crazy narrative. You have to understand, Anybody can tell like tutorials on top three tricks and makeup tutorials. What makes people take action, right? If you want to like and comment, you have to double down on the emotion. Tana makes people feel humorous or they, they, she makes them laugh. Why does she make them laugh? Because she makes them feel lighthearted and funny stories. And you have to understand feelings drive action, not like hardcore tips and tricks. Anybody can do that. So if you are a beauty influencer you have to dive you have to uh, you have to double down on emotion because think about it guys from getting people to point a to point b is extremely hard tana does a good job to make sure the audience is just super engaged she's loud she's interfaced because the value is in the audio so in the visual and the actual piece of content you know how do you get people to not click off she's always clapping she's yelling in front of the camera she's literally super annoying but that's what gets people fired up I say it's not like you're ugly you're so I'd say you don't have to become Tana Manjo, whether you're posting on Instagram or YouTube specifically. Tana does a really good job of storytelling because if you're ever at the movies, you don't leave in a theater. If it's a good movie, you're like literally on the edge of your seat. You feel something. Fear, humor. Um, I think Tana double da doubles down on relatability and humor. So if you have the relatability, you have a little bit of trust. If you have the humor, you make people entertained. So if you have those two things, remember, I'm telling you storytelling is about emotion so for tana's sake let's just say her emotion she dives down on is relatability and humor but for you it might not even be that you know wow guys before i leave i just want to let you know if you are a video storyteller or you make content online you have to tell a story you can't just sit there and be pretty with their little gucci prada bag and a shot of your outfit of the day that's not going to make people feel emotion people can feel inspired if you give them hope how is hope drived through fear it's actually really interesting so you guys have to get off your butt okay and i know a lot of people on instagram just post selfies of themselves but if you really want to stick out i highly recommend you to story tell and even tell a story about yourself you know crazy experiences be vulnerable because you have to understand nobody's perfect in life so don't try to be one
You don't have to act like you're perfect. Tell the vulnerable stories. Tell about your struggles. Tell about this time a creepy stalker, you know, you know, like really scared you. Or tell you about a really sad ex-boyfriend story because girls like that. It's about bonding with the struggle, not always acting like you're perfect because nobody's perfect in the end. So with that being said, we're gonna play Hefner and W by Tana's new song because she's a hashtag serial entrepreneur and music producer now. Bitch like I'm Hefner, I take 10% like I rep her. I'll drop 5k on a drop of fucking water. Sad, sad, sad. Who else like laughs when she hears? I love that part. Change, but I'm still the same bitch, just no more minimum wage. Hey, jump on this beat, I'm different. Oh, wait a minute. This is crazy. Um. Anyways, uh, I'll leave my Starbucks order below. So if you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching. I implore you to take action and really tell a story. Maybe you don't like Tana, but she's good at being crazy. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and subscribe. I post videos just like this all the time and you totally don't have to, but if you're on the social media journey, I'm here for you and the Dharma Nation, which is you guys, are here for you too. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below what you thought about today's video. Seriously, I love you so, so much. And I, I literally care about you guys. Like, I try to make sure all the humorous stuff is, like, backed up with factual stuff. And then, obviously, a little bit of motivation. Because I want you guys to take action. Stop playing Fortnite at home and complaining. You got this. And um, just go crush it. Dominate it. Germination. A. Okay. You guys in the next one. <laughs>